from Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Wendell Edwards. Happy Wednesday. We're on top of several stories this morning. Developing right now, students who attend New Britain High School will be learning remotely for the rest of this week. The mayor says the change is not because of COVID, but because of an increase in violence on campus. This is my last year, so it just sucks to like see like all the immaturity of the kids and stuff. For that, for that to be the reason that we're like going back remote. The New Britain Police Department would not comment on responding to any of the incidents, but we're told there is a school resource officer in the building. In Hartford, staff members are demanding better working conditions. They came together last night to complain at the Board of Education meeting. They believe current conditions are contributing to a major staff shortage in the district. Negotiations for the Hartford Federation of Teachers began in several weeks. It hopes the district will work with them on better pay, affordable health insurance, and safer work environments. But for other unions, negotiation dates are up in the air. Today, two men are due in court after police say they hurt two women while trying to steal their purses in West Hartford in August. Police tracked down and arrested 19-year-old Kevin Ortiz Rivera and 20-year-old Christian Santana Silva yesterday. Investigators say they pushed a 78-year-old woman to the ground and stole her purse at this bank on Prospect Avenue last month. Shortly after, police say they tried to grab a 65-year-old woman's purse while they drove by her. That woman was dragged and then injured. All right, hi everybody, good morning. Let's take a look at Futurecast tomorrow's weather today. It does show some spotty showers that are passing through the state right now and throughout the day today. There could be a passing shower. It's not going to be a washout by any means, but nonetheless, grab an umbrella, carry it with you. I just ran the clock down through 12. You'll see some passing showers. And then by tonight, more passing showers with mostly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, rinse and repeat, mostly cloudy, humid, with a chance for some passing showers. And then a front rolls in Thursday night through Friday morning. Here we go. Here comes the action. This is the front that uh, signifies change for the upcoming weekend. You can see we'll clear things out on Friday, but uh, not before we get some storms in here Thursday night and Friday. Daytime highs today in the upper 70s. Tomorrow and Friday look a bit stormy, and then Saturday, Sunday looking good. Take care.